Hi, I'm Sister McKenzie, and my small story is Walk This Way Workshops. <laughs> and what is that all about? What is, what, what is... Walk This Way Workshops originally originated from me being in the fashion industry. I'm a model. Yeah, I know that. Everybody knows you. Yeah, and um, uh, when I first started out, um, I came across other models that didn't you know, have a clue what they were doing, like how to go about being a part of the business. Yeah. Um, I was one of those models as well. I started off in Canada. I didn't know what to do and I had to like, you know, research everything myself. Yeah. And I went off to Europe and it was the same thing. And I decided yeah, when I was living in France, you know, if I have the opportunity, I'm going to create a company where I could give back, you know, like all the necessary information that these aspiring models would need in order for them to get, you know, be able to like, you know, um, for them to be able to pursue this business. Okay. Yeah. Like some, like some of the things, some of the things that you give them. What kind so of um, originally started off as, you know, um, a, a, a business geared towards teaching, training, coaching, uh, aspiring models, okay. as well as established models. So what I would do is basically give them like step-by-step step how to go about finding an agency. Mm -hmm. um, once they get into the agency, uh, how to you know deal with their agents, yeah. how to deal with their cast, uh, deal with their castings, mm -hmm. appointments, um, callbacks, how to dress for the part. Yeah. Um, also, I train them as well in runway because okay. that's my specialty. Okay. Um, so I you know I train them. For the runway side of it, as well as photo posing side of it, train them in all aspects of the business. So yeah. it started off as that, as gearing towards the models. Yeah. But then at some point I realized that um, it's not just about models that need the confidence in order to go out and pursue yeah. their dreams and goals in life. So now I've opened it up and I've branched it off to all different types of people. Okay. But what I do is I use like different elements of um, the business. Yeah. Uh, I, I implement certain areas of the industry, like the, 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 the candy part. The runway, the photo closing, okay. uh, in order to like help, you know, like everyday typical, like regular people, okay. you know, tell us, do whatever you, they want to do. Tell me some <laughs> stories from your fashion, from your modeling days that inspired you to do this. Because you obviously, you, you came across uh, some things, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, it's my story, well, I've always wanted to model from when I was like six years old. Okay. And um, I'm, I'm originally from Jamaica. So of course we didn't have that, you know, opportunity back home. Mm -hmm. And then I had the opportunity to move to Canada. And I pursued the business relentlessly, even though I was told I was never going to make it because I'm not pretty enough. Yeah. I'm not pretty, I'm not beautiful, I don't have it going on, and it's, it's never going to happen. I basically did not listen to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> and I how does, felt, one, how, do you, how does one respond to that when you hear it the first time? You know what? It hurt. It hurt the first a lot. time you hear it, you know? Like, <laughs> it wasn't the first time I heard that from, like, well, from the fashion people. Yeah. That was the first time I'm hearing it. Yeah. But throughout my life, I always... I was always told that I'm not good enough. Yeah. I'm not beautiful. Uh, I'm not pretty. You know, you just it's never gonna happen for you. Yeah. Right? So, you know, it, it is very hurtful. Yeah. But it's what you take from it, right? And for me, I strongly believe in myself and I believe in what I wanna do. It's wicked. And I'm not gonna let anything or anyone stop me from doing that. So luckily I have that mindset where, you know, I refuse to let anyone stop me from you know, pursuing my dreams and goals in life. I hear you on that. So when I moved to Canada, I just went after a relentlessly. And when it, I was looking for agencies, all the agencies said no. It took me like five years until I got an agency. Um, I came to New York. My first trip to New York, I was 15 years old. I didn't have, you know, any money to like stay too long in New York. I took a bus trip here. I stayed for the entire day. I went to see all the agencies and they all said no. They were like, hell no, <laughs> get over it. You just might as well walk away from this because it's never going to happen. But I continued, I yeah. persevered, right? And I just I just wouldn't let it get to me. So I went back home to Canada, I came back to New York again. And um, it was on my third trip to New York that I got signed, which was five years later. Yeah. And I got signed with one of the biggest agencies in the world, Elite. And um, it was pretty hard to get in that agency as well. But How did they discover you? How the, I mean actually, they didn't discover me. It was the... the, the the scout yeah. for Elite, she fell in love with me. And so she the, just saw the, the vision. biggest agencies fell in love. No, the, no, other the small scout. Ones. The scout did. The scout, scout from the biggest agency fell in love with me. Yeah. But she had to convince the owner to take me on. And That's he was like, no way. Yeah. And she basically put her job on the line for me. Oh, and man. he gave me three months and gave her three months. Right? If I didn't do good, we were both out. Yeah. So within my first week, I got my first cover for like a local magazine. But then after a month, I decided to walk away from it because I was, at the time I was around 17, and 
I didn't think I was ready for it. I wasn't mentally ready. Yeah. I'm living in an apartment by myself. I didn't know what to do. I didn't have anybody in case anything were to have happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was other girls I was living in there with me the same age with no guidance, no support. Yeah. And I saw them like, you know, doing certain things in order to like get ahead. Yeah. And I refused to do that, so I decided to walk away from it. So I walked away from it, went back to Canada, went back to school, and um, I said, all right, if this is meant for me, it will happen, it will fall into place. I went to school, uh, finished, just got my GED, and um, got a few jobs, made some money, and I bought a plane ticket to Europe. My next trip was gonna be France. And I'm like, um, this is gonna be the last opportunity, and if it doesn't work out, you know, at least I've yeah. tried all my avenues. Um, I got to France, and it was the same thing all over again. No, we don't think you're, you know, no, what are you doing, are you crazy? It's never gonna happen. Uh, but no, je, no, 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 yeah, go away. <laughs> it's strange, you are strange, get out of here. Some people just like shut the door in my face. It was crazy oh, all over again. At some point, I got, ended up getting signed by a smaller agency, and it didn't last for too long. It lasted for about two weeks. And then he dropped me, got rid of me, tore my pictures and everything, because he was like crazy. Yeah, yeah. So I was back to square one again. And I said, all right, this is it. I'm going to give myself one more week. It was a week before the Port to Porte, before the, the spring summer collections. Yeah. And I was like, all right, if, the, if it doesn't happen now, that means I've done everything, right? Yeah. It's God's will. Anyways, long story short, um, I got some new pictures done and I went on the castings. And the first designer I saw was Jean-Paul Gaultier. I walked into his uh, casting and there was over like 300 models there. <laughs> Uh, when I was called up, I went to him, I presented my book, and the first thing he said was, Elle est belle, meaning she's beautiful. Oh my God. And that was the first time anyone has ever told me oh. that. And well, on the spot, he was like, yeah. I just think you're so beautiful. At first I was like, I don't, I don't speak French, yeah. so you're going to have to help me out here. <laughs> and he was like, oh, yes. to me, I'm, I want you for my show. And I was like, okay, all right, you're joking, right? And um, he was like, you know, Great to meet you, and I'll see you again. And I didn't think anything of it. So I went outside to the payphone, and I called my agent. And because I had ended up getting a really small agent. Yeah. Well. And um, I called my agent, and I was like, oh, I met, you know, I met the man. And yeah. even if I don't get it, just to have the opportunity, you know, to meet with this icon, that's good enough for me. Yeah. And he was like, all right, are you finished talking? Because Jean-Paul already called, and you got the show. Oh, my yeah. God. You must have so just cried your ass off. I was in the middle of the street at... Um, Faborg Saint Antoine, which is the area where his yeah. office is, yeah. and I was literally doing backflips. I stopped traffic. I was screaming. I was screaming out in Jamaican. Yeah. <laughs> I was crying. Everything under the sun. So like, I, I appreciate it now what you're doing. Like, what advice would you give to anyone? Because it took you years. No, everyone told you, no, no way, it's not gonna happen. They were like, you're what not advice would you give to someone who everyone's telling them they can't be what they want to be? Or what they feel they should be. My advice to anybody, uh, I mean, my advice to someone who is pursuing their dreams and goals in life to not give up on it. If you strongly believe this is something that you want to do, you can do it and you can make it happen. If it's not meant for you, it's God wills, yes, but you can't let other people define your destiny. Yeah. I, If I didn't take my destiny into my hands, I don't think I would have been where I'm at today. Yeah. I don't think I would have accomplished what I've accomplished in my dream, in my, in my life. Yeah, yeah. They, like if I listened to people, I wouldn't have been any, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere. Yeah. So I think it's important for people to, you know, have a vision, have a dream, yeah. and not be afraid to go after it. But, you know, and yeah, not be afraid to go after yeah. it and make it happen. What's been your anchor? What's, what's been what's, my what's anchor? anchor in your life? You know, that, some helps you, you know, whether it's God or family or whatever well, it is. My anchor, the anchor, the main anchor in my yeah. life, first and foremost, is the, the most high God. Um, my mother, yeah. but really my passion, the passion for loving me yeah. and accepting me no matter what. I love because it. first of all, if I didn't love and accept who I am yeah. from the get, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to have the strength to go after what I wanted in life. What's the uh, web address we would find you? So um, you can can you can check me out at www.stacymckenzie.com and all the information about Walk This Way workshops, there's a link for that. Uh, you can just click on the link for Walk This Way workshops for all the information about my classes.